What's up, everybody? We are back with an NLC Live Devo. So glad you're you're tuning in. I'm hopping on here. I'm here. I'm back. We are ready to get into the Word. Hey, answer me this. Are you having a good day? If not, let's have one. Come on, let's do it. I'm in Romans 10, verse 17 today. Romans 10, verse 17. Are you ready? Open up your... Well, I guess if you're watching this, you can't open it up on your phone. Um, yeah, just listen up. That's probably best. Okay, Romans 10, 17. Got the word? Reading NLT here. Come on. This is what it says. It says, So faith comes from hearing, that is, hearing the good news about Christ. Faith comes from hearing and hearing the good news about Christ. So this, Paul's writing the book of Romans. And what Paul's saying here is, is he's talking about salvation. And he's talking about the Israelites and the Gentiles, everyone in, in the city of Israel. And he's saying, how, how do people uh, come to faith? How do people come to a relationship with Jesus? Faith is hearing of all that God has done. Sending his son, how good Jesus is. Sorry, I'm fixing this. Faith comes from hearing and hearing the good news of Christ. And it, it's it's the holiday season right now, um, going into the holiday season. And I'll, I have a huge heart for our family. I have a huge heart to reach my family. Uh, we live in an apartment. Um, we've got college students. My wife and I uh, pastor college students here in Conway. Uh, but we're surrounded by college students in our apartment complex. Uh, there are so many. I walk into a grocery store, and there's somebody that I that that checks out all of our groceries. Um, she may be going through a tough life situation right now. We never know what people are walking through, and so what Paul's encouraging here is, hey, in order for people to make a decision that's going to change their eternity, that's going to change forever for them, they need to hear of what Jesus did for them. But how are they going to hear unless we tell them? So Paul's saying, hey. They're never going to come to faith. They're never going to know Jesus without somebody telling them. We got to make sure that we telling them that we're telling them. And if we want them to come to faith in Jesus, they can't do that except for hearing, hearing the good news of Christ. So, what role do we play in that? We just have to be willing and obedient. That when God asks us, and and that we feel the Holy Spirit nudging us to talk to people, that we do it. I know this is really hard for me because it's uncomfortable. Because sometimes it's uh, I'm I'm moving through life so quick. I'm I'm going in to pick up the Brussels sprouts at the grocery store or whatever the bread, the milk. People that probably don't use y'all don't probably buy Brussels sprouts, but whatever. You're you're in a hurry. Things are going fast. We're we're moving through life quickly. But I want us to what I want us to do is look at this verse and say, faith comes from hearing hearing the good news of Christ. How are people going to come to know Jesus and walk with him closely if we never tell them of all that God has done in our life, what Jesus has done, why we believe in Jesus, why they should believe? And I just want to challenge us. Let's make a challenge today. Let's today make it a point to ask someone, do you have a relationship with Jesus? And then if they say yes, amazing. We get to celebrate with them. But if they say no, we get the opportunity to tell them of all that God has done in our life. And here, check this out. When we do this, yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, it may be hard. Yes, it may be something that you don't do often. And just to be honest with you, I don't walk around every day doing this either. But one thing I do know is that when I do this, it gives me more of a perspective and a heart for the people around me. And it also encourages me and strengthens that muscle inside of me that I, I'm willing to open up and I'm willing to ask that question. I'm willing to step out of my comfort zone to ask them if they know when it does go well and when I do it. Um, and so I just want to challenge us, hey, today, let's make that a point to share our faith. Tell someone of Jesus. Tell them of what God has done in our life. And let's do that today. Come on. Thank you so much. We love you. Hope you have a great day. God bless.